Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, girl, through an air, thank you for the reset. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. And uh, so today we're playing the Grixis Cube. This is a uh, cube created by Ryan Overturf. And uh, it's only Grixis cards and artifacts and, and gold cards. Um, which might seem limiting, but you can also be, you can be blue-red, you can be red-black, you can be black-blue, you can be mono-colored, I imagine. I actually haven't looked at the list because I think that's more fun. Um, I had no idea what to expect, so it's kind of like spoiler season, where like you don't look at the spoilers and then you just go play your pre-release, and uh, you know you don't you don't know what to expect. But this is pretty pretty <clears throat> pretty exciting. I don't know what to take here though. I think blue, red, and black are open. God, I hope so. God, I hope so. Uh, I think we can go without taking the lands. I imagine there's a good amount of lands since there's only three colors. I'm going to take the Undermine because that seems really strong. Trash for a treasure. Can oh, Candelabra of Thanos. Ooh, where's Thanos when you need him? Thought not here. Okay, this key was looking sweet. Venser, Hostage Taker. Um, I make no claim to how good our first draft is going to be. Um, so if we go 3 I hope you guys understand. There's also Tendrils, which is interesting. So not only is there like a colorless theme, there's also a, 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 clearly a storm theme here, so. Oh god, you're right, we can't, there's no Saltite possibilities. Recurring Nightmare? I think it's just Hostage Taker. Hostage Taker's always very good. I hope we don't get cut on the, what? Cruel Ultimatum. Is everyone just playing Grixis? I mean, I know that sounds silly in the Grixis queue, but I mean, like, there has to be like, some people just have to be playing not Grixis, right? Like blue red or blue black you know like it can't everyone can't everyone can't just have three colors deck three colors three colors deck right everybody can't just have three color decks right i mean cruel ultimatum seems way too good to pass i'm just gonna i'm just gonna slam this and like this has to be the most powerful grixis card ever printed right i mean i'm not crazy batter skull is interesting however keep in mind that batter skull there is not going to be any stoneforge mystics in this set has your hair been the swooshy, the swoo, the swoosh to the swoosher? Is looking super. No, I just um, sometimes when I use dry shampoo instead of regular shampoo, it gets more. There's more body to it, <clears throat> and like I use dry shampoo like every other day instead of regular shampoo, so I'm not shampooing my hair every day. Dry shampoo is great. If you guys haven't used dry shampoo, you should definitely look into it. It's a fantastic. Uh... <laughs> As a bald man, what is dry shampoo? Dry shampoo is like a spray that you use. You spray it on. And uh, you leave it in for like a minute or two. Uh, I'm going to make my pick here. I think it's just Sunken Hollow. I don't want to have that few fixing, I guess. Whatever that means. <coughs> In Intuition is interesting because this is a cube where like you're never going to... You're never going to be able to pick three of the same card, right? Um, My wife is gross? What? What? You're a maniac. You're an absolute... God, I was totally going to take Izzet Signet, but I feel like I owe... I feel like I just owe Badger taking Torrential Gear Hulk. Is it Signet so good, though? Okay, you spray it in, you leave it for a minute or two, and then you wipe it out, right? It's basically just a spray uh, that's used to absorb all the oils and the dirt and stuff from your hair. <clears throat> so instead of, like, a wet... It's just, like, it's like dry cleaning, basically, right? Like, we're using, we're using something to pull out the, the dirt and the oils, and then you just, like, you just, you know, kind of towel... You towel it out. <coughs> It's not a replacement for showering, sure. Like, I'll always go in the shower, I'll wet my hair. I took a shower. I just didn't use shampoo. It's gotta be Signet. Dang it, Badger. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry, Badger. I'm sorry. It has to be Signet because we're playing Cruel Ultimatum. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> well... <laughs> oh, God, I'm waiting. No... Oh, dang it! All right. All right, I'll tell you what. You get two free cards. Two, Any two cards you choose next, I will 100% take. If that if that's fair, so with this dry shampoo, you rub it in much like you're doing to those night to doing to those who have no hair. Um, ha, huh, ha, huh, uh, well you see, um, it's just frost giant, frost titan, frost giant. I think it's just lightning bolt. I'll take the lightning bolt, sure. Underground river, huh?
Oh, I'm gonna take underground. I'm just gonna take all the lands I can find because Mox Opal. This cube is really interesting. Eight mana. This is a commander card. It has to be right. Excel the top eight cards of your library. You put a land from among them onto the battlefield. It's land return for each non-land card type. You may cast a card of that type from among them from the exile cards without paying its mana cost. That just seems fun. Until end of turn. I'm just going to take that. Ooh, Wandering Fumeral came back. All right. Drowned Catacombs. <coughs> I mean, considering we're trying a three-color deck here, I don't feel bad about taking all this fixing. We have an eight drop and a seven drop, and I'm just hoping that, that this pays off, because these seem like super fun. So this is basically... Um, you're able to play a card of each type exiled... And that includes lands, which is why they have this extra extraneous sentence that says you may put a land card into play on the battlefield. It's just their way of saying you can also play a land, right? So you're playing a land, an instant, a sorcery, a creature, whatever you find. <clears throat> Simply cool, what's going on? I'm glad we had this, this dry shampoo talk this morning, guys. Shut up and take my money. Oh, what's happening right now? Says Badger isn't donating to your swoosh today. <laughs> 501. Danny, you are awesome, buddy. I really appreciate you. <laughs> well, somebody's got to do it. This morning, it's 2 p.m. Well, it's morning for me. If I wake up at noon, uh, which I do, then, like, I don't feel bad about calling two hours later morning star. Like, if you wake up at 8 a.m. and then it's 10 a.m., it's still morning to you. And it's 11 a.m. for Chris. Right. Like, so, <clears throat> the U.S. currently... Uh, is between 11 and 2, right? So, that's pretty much morning. <clears throat> you know what I think about that, Spaghetti Toucher? Somebody touch my spaghetti! Yeah, think about it. Think about it. <clears throat> Man, this is a... That took a while. Uh, two depletion counters... That seems really good. It's just a shit land afterwards, but... At the beginning of each... This is Reign of Filth is also... This cube seems crazy. <clears throat> I'm gonna take Peat Bog. Um, oh, jeez. This is fascinating. Shut up and take my money. This is fascinating. <laughs> Badger, why? Oh, God. I don't know if any of these cards are any good for us. Pyroclasm seems fine, actually. We can... We can make that work. Right of Flame and Empty the Warrens? Badger, thank you so much, dude. Like I said, if you got two picks you want me to take, you just let me know. I guess it's just Right of Flame? I don't even know, man. This pick is weird. I'll take the Empty the Warrens and keep someone off. I guess Storm is an archetype. I guess art, like, uh, ar artifacts, maybe? Because we saw Trash for Treasure and we saw uh, Mox Opal. So, like, <clears throat> I was having a really productive day. Oh, well. Well, biscuits. Oh, coalition relic. Oh boy, that's got to be fantastic. Scheming symmetry, Sarkon. This cube is fantastic so far. Who knew? With magic only had three colors, it could be this good. Coalition relic's got to be the pick, right? Worm coil. Dang it, Badger. Dang it. All right, worm coil it is. This is the uh, no. Uh, well, let me know your final answer. Let me know your final answer. Relic is good? Okay, I'll take Relic then. I guess, one, two, three, four. We actually don't have a ton of playables yet. We have a good amount of lands. All right. Talisman? Coligon's command seems great. Upheaval seems good. I don't know if we can, I, I guess, I mean, you. I have to assume you can upheaval in this cube, right? Like, you have to, I feel like in order to upheaval, you have to have a special, a very specific, kind of cube. I also like Scalding Tarn. Man, this is crazy. <clears throat> oh, that's true. Artifacts seem great when there's no green or white. That's crazy. I'm actually keeping a vigilant eye on chat to make sure Badger doesn't throw a suggestion in that I should take. Uh...
Do we just take upheaval? We gotta take upheaval, right? It's just too good, right? Pact of negation? I feel like all the cards in this cube are a lot stronger, and the reason is because uh, there's a higher concentration of cards in three colors, so you don't, you're not having to distribute all your cards over five colors. <clears throat> what does this guy do? Uh, whenever an instant sorcery is cast during your turn, it deals one damage to any target equal to one plus the number of instant. This just feels like Aether Flux Reservoir, right? Except for... Only instants and sorcerers. I think it's just Talisman here. It's so funny because I want so many of these cards. Like, I think Release the Gremlins is probably great in this format. Prophetic Bolt and Force of Negation are awesome. Gremlins? Alright, I'll take Gremlins. <clears throat> I'm not in love with any of these cards, so yeah, Gremlins is great. It's solid against the artifact decks, so... I'm on board with that. Manowar? Oh, God, I think I just have a an obsession with Manowar. Spellskite's good. Pithing Needle. I wonder if Talran's any good. Probably not in our deck, right? And there's no there's no ramp in this pack, so I'm not super super concerned with that. Simeon Spirit is interesting. This whole this whole cube is super interesting. Fatal push could just be fatal push. I don't think we're Tezzeret, but that's awesome. It's awesome that it's in here. I'm a man of war. I don't, is that true? <clears throat> Do you have paperwork that can back this up? Because that seems... I'm a little suspect, sus suspicious. I'll just take Fatal Push here. <clears throat> Davriel, Rogue, Shadow Mage. Oh, with the, the alternate art Davriel? That's sick. I'm a fan. <clears throat> I served in the army and was deployed to the middle... Oh, wow. I did know, I did know you were in the military. I did not know you were deployed in the Middle East, though. That's awesome. I mean, Shut I guess it's awesome. Right it's awesome right. in the sense that, you know, take Boros Reign. <laughs> that is not from Badger. 100% not from Badger. Twenty-one seconds. Nightfall Spectre is good. I do like Spectre too, actually. That's literally what I was thinking. It feels like the most powerful card in this pack. It's no Thief of Sanity, but I think it's still very good. And it's super easy to cast. Ooh, Liliana. Metalworker? Oh, boy. See, I, the thing I like about this particular run-through of our of our first cube draft is that uh, there's a lot of cards to look at. And I get to figure out what's going on in this cube, and that's really fun for me. I get to be like, okay, we got a Hell Rider. Uh, we have a Metalworker. These are all good. Push artifacts now. I don't think we... I think we only have two, though. Uh, Liliana seems insane, right? Emrakul. Yawgmoth is great. I don't think we have a Yawgmoth deck, though. Goblin Dark Dwellers is good. Um, we only have Fatal Push and Lightning Bolt, though. Rekindling like Phoenix is just good. <clears throat> Emra warm, Emra warm, Emra cool. More like eh, Emra, Emra kind of warm, I guess. Sword seems, sword does seem pretty good. This is two of the colors in the cube. Does this cube only have three swords? <clears throat> does it have sort of steel and sinew? Uh, it's sort of fire and ice. And is there a black blue one? No, there's no black blue sword yet. All right, I'm gonna take a sword, even though someone like Luis would probably uh not support that decision. Through the Breach. Oh, that's something. Wow. Also, you can get all of the reanimator on the Through the Breach archetypes here. Do we just want Through the Breach? I feel like this cube is actually doing way more broken stuff than, like, a normal cube. Because you're... Not only do you have the regular broken archetypes from, like, the Grixis uh, shard, but you also have, like... You can just double them up because you only have those colors. This is really interesting. Shut up I'm gonna take money. Through the Breach. Grab Llanowar Elves. <laughs> Okay, so we're taking Llanowar Elves, and we're taking, uh... What was the other card you guys recommended? Boros Reckoner. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, yeah, Triumph could just be good. I put a fake name. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you Haji Gulashi? Typical. <laughs> it was supposed to be Toad's Badger. 
Uh, I like P and Kieran a lot. I like a good a good amount of bodies for the um, sort of steel and sinew. That seems good. We don't really have a goblin welder deck. Dark steel ingots not ideal. I like painful. Oh, faithless looting. Rip. See you later, buddy. Uh, prophetic bolt seems great too. I want to take the bolt. I think. Mannequin? Sure. Devastating Sun. Uh, none of these are, are going to make the cut. I think there's a really good aggressive red deck. Actually, Falcon Earth Aristocrat's not terrible. I didn't even consider Needle. I don't know. That was just... I wasn't... All right. Bloodstained Mire? You seem great. Thought Erasure seems great. Uh, I think it's just Bloodstained Mire. We actually don't have any duels. Are there dual lands? I wonder if there's dual lands. I think next we do. I, I, I would like to. Yeah, we can go artifacts next draft. That seems sweet. Lantern's good. We do already have Coalition Relic. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we also need Lantern. <clears throat> Is there a chance I could post a deck list? Yeah, sure. Mr. Tomo, feel free. Shut up and take my money. Dry shampoo. Force Grixis and buy some wet shampoo because calling vacuum cleaner dry shampoo is not... What does that even mean? <clears throat> what does that even mean? You guys think it's Lantern? I would almost rather take like... Nah, those are colorless though. Uh, I almost like Thought Erasure here. Or Mana Leak. Ooh, Mana Leak's good. I want to take Mana Leak. That's aggressive, right? That was real aggressive. I can take Blood Crypt. Ooh, I like Blood Crypt here a lot. Thank you. I feel like there's gonna be broken things, so I really want to have like Mana Leak. I want to have some some sort of way to, to deal with that when you already have Coalition Relic. Tireless Tractor, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna take Blood Crypt here. Thief of Sanity? We can have Thief and Night Vale Spectre. Whoa. Manifold Key, a strict upgrade to... Oh, we can have Mystic Confluence and Glenelendra. Wow, this pack is gross. I think... I mean, Glenelendra is obviously better than Thief of Sanity. I'm not sure it's better than Mystic Confluence. It's so funny because you feel like you're fighting with all the other Grixis players, but, like, you're not. Because it's like... It's like saying in a five-color cube that you're fighting with all the people who are playing those colors. You know what I mean? To me, true, what's going on, buddy? J Bro is saying how prioritizing sideboard cards makes a lot of sense, as you will see so much good stuff in your colors and matchups will be to say, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. That's actually smart. That guy's really smart. Wow, J Bro's really smart. He should run for office. I don't know. I'm going to take Mr. Confluence. I just think it's too good. <clears throat> Lava Claw Reach. This is one of my favorite Ugans. I mean, as that doesn't make any sense because there's only two. This is one of my favorite Planeswalkers from War of the Spark. I think it's very, very good. Have you seen Julian Baker's cover of Accident Prone? Oh, is it? Is it the one where she, it, it, is Julian Baker the the woman who is like she's playing on a piano? If so, yes, and I've actually cried to it. That song, th that version is unbelievable. Oh God, it is unbelievable, dude. Jesus. It's amazing because you have, like, favorite bands. Like, Jawbreaker is one of my favorite, like, punk bands, right? And then, like, you can do a cover of the song on a piano. And, like, it's actually heartbreaking. And you're like, this is amazing. Like, it's so amazing, like, the range of the music where it's like, wow, I never thought this this punk, this song by this, this Bay Area punk band would actually pull on the heartstrings like that. I'll take Ugin. Ugin is also a great way to deal with, with permanence. Like, just random permanence. So... Season Pyromancer seems nice. Eldrazi Temple is hilarious in here. That's great. Discovery Dispersal is nice. Great song rating does transcend genre. I agree with that. That's a great that's a great comment coming from coming from Ocean Man himself. Ocean Man. Should we board this in against the black and red decks? 
That's funny. That was a little joke, guys. It's either Season Pyromancer or, or Discovery Dispersal, I think. I think I'm leaning towards Pyromancer. Like, again, we, we had some more bodies for this, which is great. Oh, Sappers and Scary, which is the same as Pete Bog. Oh, Nicobolus Ravager? Oh, yes. Also, we have Sneak Attack. Uh, we have Through the Breach and Sneak Attack, but nothing to really Sneak Attack or Through the Breach in. Yeah, we're definitely taking Nicobolus here. Prismatic Vista? Oh, boy. Gilded Lotus? Oh, boy. Ocean Gems, <laughs> take me on a win. Ocean James, take me to the Thames. That's kind of like a, it's a, it's a, it's a British version. Graven Carnes is good. Gilded Lotus is good. Packrat does win games. It's, it's not wrong. <sighs> I kind of just want the Vista. I feel like fixing is so 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 choice here. I want to take Vista. I think we I think we have enough playables. I'm not super concerned with more playables here. <clears throat> we also have like we can board in Pyroclasm. We can bring Pyroclasm or Pillage or something over the uh, the through the breach because I don't think through the breach is at its best here. Fire Ice is great. Let's take Fire Ice. When is too early for breakfast? Never. Uh, when you are hungry is when you should have breakfast. Chromatic Lantern tabled? <sighs> you maniacs. You blew it up. I'll take a Magma Jet. We only have seven creatures, but I think we, we're good because we have Liliana, Ugin, Cruel Tomatum. <clears throat> and our creatures are good. I think we just want the Magma Jet. Do we have a, do we have a board wipe like this? We have Pyroclasm. How long is this queue up for? This queue was up for a week, and then Ali Medwin has informed me that after this, the uh, the modern cube goes up. So, I think I just want ultimate price here. I'm gonna take Tezzeret. I don't think this this pack's not gonna yield us any. All right, so we have we need three cuts here. Through the breach is an easy cut. I don't think we're an upheaval deck. We only have Coalition Relic, Is It Signet, and Chromatic Lantern. I don't think you want to be an, an upheaval deck with Cruel Ultimatum because you're going to focus on colored <clears throat> colored ramp and rather than um, yeah, our trail's fine. Colored ramp rather than colorless ramp, so you're not taking things like Basalt Monolith or you know what have you. So, and actually, I think this deck looks good, but it's it's hard to gauge because I literally have no idea what a good deck looks like in this format. Oh, I'm sure we'll definitely run some mono red at some point. Seven creatures, but they're all pretty good. I think I don't cut Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, but like the funny thing is we have a lot of creatures to sacrifice from Peony Karen L R and Season Season Pyromancer to make her indestructible. <clears throat> did somebody say mono red? Oh boy. I did, Badger, I did get the final dinosaur list. We'll play that, we'll play that soon. I was like, I don't see any Marauding Raptors in here. Let's let's fix that. Uh, sort by Commander Mana Cost. Let's, we need one cut. I really want to play Amenatau's Amen Augury. That is that is not an easy. Any thoughts on Luminas? What is, what what is that? What are you guys saying right now? I don't even know what that is. Does that mean I'm out of the loop? Am I out of the loop, ass? Oh, the deck I sent. Yeah, actually, Hodgkalashi, I don't know if you were here yesterday, but I actually loaded it up. <clears throat> uh, modern. I called it Blue White Fog. <clears throat> and we can go display by card view. Tis a butte. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, wow, this card, this deck is beautiful. Just gorgeous. Alright, so we need one cut. I don't know what it would, I don't know what it is. All these cards are good. Relic and Lantern. Alistair Kane, what's going on, my dude? How's Utah today? Gorgeous, I bet. Even though you guys have a lot of subways, which is fine. That's fine. Is Super Fritz here? He is here. I 
That was one thing. I think I remember Jake telling me that. He's like, we got a lot of subways here. And I was like, huh. Maybe he never said that, though. Maybe I just made that up. Who knows? Actually, Carrie Zev's not great. I mean, it's fine. It's probably fine, especially with a sword. I don't know. Six creatures. We got Cruel Ultimatum to get back a creature that's basically seven. Lilian is eight. Ugin's nine. I'm comfortable with that. Oh, God. Pepper the pepper jack cheese on the meatball subs. You guys are disgusting. Chris, when we go to when we go to Maggiano's next time, can we be like, hey, let's can we get some fried cheese? But instead of mozzarella, can you put pepper jack in there instead? Can we do that? Because <laughs> that sounds hilarious. Also disgusting, so let's not do it. Ooh, ooh, look at these lands. I like them. I'm a fan when they put good lands in the cubes. That's nice. It's not a meatball sub, I guess. Touche, Christopher. Touche. One, two, three. Four, six, seven. All right, I'm okay with that. What about black? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go to eight for now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, and no. Thought it should be or something. It's a loud buzzing noise anyway let's go red sources again one two three four five six seven eight it's a lot eight red sources okay black we have one two three four five six seven eight nine blue sources so nine eight and three four five six seven eight nine so nine nine eight that seems good yeah this seems great all right let's do it <clears throat> Badger, are you leaving to get breakfast, or are you just having breakfast and hanging out? Just so I know whether to to expect you. I went 11 4th the GP, and I'm going to use part of that money for a Warp World. D Alistair Kane, I've been waiting forever. I've been waiting forever to play Warp World with from you. Um, how did you? What's uh? What's payout for 11 4? Congratulations, buddy. That's actually awesome because that event was absolutely humongous. I bet. Discord has been short on shenanigans. <laughs> That's true. If you guys are subscribers, definitely check out the uh, subscriber Discord. <clears throat> I am going to definitely keep this hand, and we can go Vista into Blue Source. Tony M. Do I know a Tony M? I don't think so. Yeah, when you said CBF, I was like, is that Channel Fireball? Oh, Fumarole, Fashionably Late. All right, we're just going to go Island. Signet. One, two, three. So next time we have actually five mana with the Peat Bog. Is that good? I don't know. I kind of want to get rid of this, though. Oh, Biscuits. Um, yikes. I guess we can actually go Peat Bog Prophetic Pull to kill this. That seems good. And next turn, any land we hit lets us play Ugin. Chris, did you just make that name up? <laughs> oh, this comes to play tapped? And there's tapped with two depletion counters. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, that's much worse. I actually thought it was good because it didn't enter the playoff field tapped, and I was like, okay, that's cool. The Titans, the Gearhawks, or the Cavaliers. My favorite is the Titans, but I also think they're the most broken. Chris, do you know Tony? Should I say hi to him for you? Should I be like, hey, Chris, Chris Ferdera says hi. An island? Oh, man. Oh, they played their island first, though. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Exile destroy permanents in one more colors? Oh, that's good. I like that. Oh, and we don't get to Oh, they're gonna they're gonna totally counter whatever we play. One, two, three, four. Oh, we also only have five mana, not six. So everything's just coming up coming up millhouse here. Play this wandering funeral. Put it into play. Oh, we actually have lightning bolt. Yeah, that seems good.
If we actually drew one more swamp, we could play uh Um Cruel Ultimatum is what we could play. Cruel Ultimatum. Cryptic Command? Oh, wait. Oh, this is great because it... Oh, wow. This is actually awesome. So we get to do that. And now, because the permanent left the battlefield, we get to kill this guy. Wow, that was really good for us. <clears throat> I mean, good in the sense that, like, Oh, fascinating. So we can either play the Swamp and play Aristocrat here, or we can do nothing and play Peat Bog and then try to Ugin next turn. I think we're just going to do that. That is fine. That's... That's actually okay, because we have Ultimate Price. Actually, both Ultimate Price and Ugin will kill the Tempest Jin without without batting an eyelash. So what we can do here is go blue, blue. So we're going to play this guy for the three blue. And then we're going to kill this guy. Do 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 What did you think of the other shirt and logo designs? I absolutely fucking loved them, Jimny. I loved them to death. The Bobby Butters logo with Michael's face in the middle is so hilarious because it looks like an old timey like it looks like an actual thing you'd see on like a store with like grandma's famous Bobby But like I was like this is amazing. They're fantastic, dude. I, they they have been the most compelling thing to help me consider making merch uh, that I've ever seen. Karn's good. Karn's good. I like this cube because it's like it feels really mid rangey. It feels like we're just a good uh, just a mid range good time. Why didn't we activate Karn there? Come on, Tony M. Get it together. Tony M, you gotta get it together. Um God. I guess we're just hitting Karn. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So we have seven mana. We could have played Aristocrat, double attacked Karn, and killed it. I'm actually just gonna go at your face here. I want a free card. <laughs> Sidetracked by work, missed an activation. I'm like, but you're at Wizards right now, so I get it. Oh, Sahili. Sahili, Sahili. Oh, Sahili, when you talk like that, you make Sahili go mad. This is awkward because, like, this costs. It doesn't. Is it. You have to do the exact colors? Yeah, that's rough. So this is double blue and this is double blue, so we actually can't use Pete for both of these. I think we actually just play Ugin here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can just keep up undermining Prophetic Bolt too, I guess. This is actually tricky. Like, if I could play this and also keep up undermine, I would definitely do it. I love how these lands look on MTGO. I think they look gorgeous. They just pop. Alright, well, Pete Bog... And we'll just play Ugin. I like this. We can also destroy the Arcane Artisan, which I think is fine. Yeah, I think that's good.
No, we can't because like look, you look at got to look at it this way, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, maybe we could have because we have seven mana. You're right. Because we can go this into this into this, and then we have this, this, and this. Yeah, we could have done that. I just miscount because I keep thinking of this as a sixth land, not a seventh land. So. Hmm. Well, that's that's something, isn't it? What is this? Oh, Teferi, Mage of Zalfir? I think we're just gonna wait a turn. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna drop Teferi like it's hot. If it's a Tony M, I'm thinking he doesn't work on Artie. Yeah, I think that's the I think that's the joke actually. Uh, okay. This seems fine. They all do in my world. <laughs> they all work in R&D in my world. Alright, we're gonna drop this Teferi. It's gonna be baller. Uh, one, uh, two... Okay. Alright, we're doing it. All right, you guys ready? You all ready for this? So what do we get? We got a mana leak and a hostage taker if those guys die. So we're gonna have to go. Nope, don't want to use that. Let's use this, and then we're gonna blue and a red. Crack this guy. Target you. Hey Chris, what do you do? Oh, I'm a database manager for an online MTG realtor. Hmm, sounds like R&D to me. Thanks for Tarmogoyf, jerk. Oh, but I didn't do anything. Oh, he's like all the things spell spell skype can't retarget, and I'm like, yeah, that was that was crossing my mind as well. I'm gonna actually hold this back because I don't want to be getting hit with this guy. I'm gonna hit Karn. I buy my singles from CoolStuffInc.com, and you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. I also had a sweet article go up today uh, about my thoughts on the latest BNR announcement, so definitely check that up. And com article. I, this week, I discuss the latest B and R changes at Cool Stuff. Ink. Use promo code Frank to get five percent off. Sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're in the block phase. Yeah, all right, cool. Make sure we use this guy. I wasn't. I actually don't remember. So. <coughs> Lunch is over. Have fun. Maybe I'll... Dimitri, have a good have a good lunch, buddy. We were talking about what you could do for a new master set. What if it was a reprint of old cards, but like old frames? And I think using old frames and uh, and art would be fantastic. Or what if they use new frames for stuff, but the foil versions were the old frame versions? Wouldn't that be insane? I really like variety like that. Just mix it up a little bit. Like if it's all aesthetic and it doesn't change the the mechanics, I'm all for it. Like, I loved when the Judge promos were, um, 
were like old versions. Like they have the like the swords in the old borders. They had like dark confidant in the old borders. Like they looked amazing. Like they just look super cool. I think no frames is cool too. I'm I'm down for any sort of aesthetic differences that they can put on those bad boys. Y'all ready for this? Yeah, the old border swords are a gas. Undrum Tuna, this is a Grixis cube. Yes, it is only Grixis cards. Red, black, and blue. Undrum Tuna, how was your breakfast this morning? Sorry, I had a quick work out. I'm like, hey man, no worries at all. We're having a good time. Oh, biscuits. All right. Are they going to bounce Nightfail Spectre? Oh, they could have bounced their Teferi. And then they could have gotten their Teferi back. But they couldn't cast it this turn, I guess. Well, this is just rude. I hate that I don't know what they get. Or do I? Oh, I do. So swamps, but he like nasty old mud smell. <laughs> Scratch and sniffs frame is based on card color. Oh, this one smells like a goblin. That's disgusting. Okay, so what we can do, we can kill this. Oh, this is an artifact too, so that actually gets makes this guy even worse. But do I want to lose my... Yeah, we, like, have so much equity right now that, like, I don't even... They have zero cards. We have eight. So I'm going to, like... Oh god, I get to draw two more cards. Oh dear lord. Okay. Um, uh, one, two, three. We can play Lantern. Uh, do you draw a card? Oh Jesus, this is so many things, guys. I don't know what to do with myself. Alright, so we're just going to play two things here. Oh jeez. I think it's actually just Lantern and... NP and Karen LR. And we're going to have to discard. I'll discard. Doesn't matter. Probably not. Leon's Triumph. Whatever. Oh, man. Yikes to me. Oh, all right. Oh, man. It was so good. I had no left, and now I have to make some more. <laughs> good times. Okay, so Pillage could be good. You were literally holding all the cards. It was too many. I couldn't help. I couldn't hand them all. I was uncomfortable with the amount of cards I was holding. Or at least the Gremos could be good. Pillage, Rip Magic TV. Man, like... It's funny because I feel like as soon as I left CFB, like, it was... That was, like, that was the beginning of the end for Magic TV. They just couldn't get a second guest. And every week I was like, yeah, I'd love to do it. I'm, I'd have a great time. I had a great time recording Magic TV every week. It was super fun for me. And uh, I was, like, the, the go-to. When, like, they didn't have a second guy live in the studio, they were like, let's get Frank on. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to do that. And it was a blast. And I feel like once I wasn't there to be that that, that second man, so to speak, like, it was... It was look at this. Oh, this is, oh, this is sort of a color. I was like, why is Nicol Bolas in the seven drop spot? Is it because the he flips for seven? That doesn't make any sense. I think we're just boarding like this. I don't think we need anything specifically. I miss Modern Monday. Well, I mean, like, I still write about modern articles on cool stuff, and I still do modern videos for YouTube. What's the difference? Tell me the difference. And actually, that's I, I'd like to hear that because then I can, uh, you know, I can do it differently for, um, like, I can just change things if it's not the same, you know? 
Or if there's a specific thing you miss, then I can I can adjust. Um, I'm gonna keep this because of Vista. Speaking of modern lists, I'm partially sad. I remember her list saying is now modern elite. Wait, oh, it's only because of the. It's only because of the the faithless looting though, right? There's only two faithless looting. What I actually did was I put two call of the bloodline in in its place. I don't know if that's good enough, but I mean it seems fine. See now I don't know if I want a second island or a second probably island, right? Whatever works for you. I guess that's true. I guess that's true because I'll be the one playing it. <laughs> I guess if I'm tweaking it anyway, then it, then it makes sense for me to make that change, right? So. Uh oh. Oh, well, we're just going to play red. And... Falcon Wrath. Attack you with... That's how I got into watching this. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you, Andrew Tuna. I like going to bed on Monday knowing I'm going to listen to a modern video every Monday. I love consistency. That's fair. That's actually a good point. I like that. Jace Vrins Prodigy. Dang it. That Greaves is nice. I mean, we're one man away from Ugin. He's ineffable, you guys. Okay, so... We don't have a sixth mana. We have nothing to really do with a fifth mana this turn. So we can actually play Pete Bog here. Pete Bog is the name of my favorite baseball player, guys. Same here. I watched a bunch of CFU videos, and yours is always the most fun. So then I found... That's crazy! That's insane! I wonder if I've gotten less fun... I don't think so, but maybe. It's always a concern of mine. I'm like, do I still have that that funness? Oh lord. I'm gonna I'm gonna let that go. Cause we have mana leak, and I'm gonna hope we don't die to something broken. New shovel knight? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? I remember texting JTHD all dude all, all dude. Oh, I remember texting him all dude, this guy is singing songs on his <laughs> And he still does it to this day. This guy literally won't shut up. All he does is sing. It has no magic content whatsoever. These are some this is some difficult in tomb choices. We got Plague Crafter. That's actually pretty good. I have never played Shovel Knight. I think Chris, you knew I didn't play Shovel Knight because I didn't know what it was. Well, for what it's worth, I found you on YouTube and thank you for... I appreciate... Spider-View, I appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. If you guys are watching on YouTube... Also, I was going to... I, I mention this frequently because I think it's been helping. But if you guys are watching on YouTube and you don't want to go to Twitch and make a profile and subscribe for $5 a month, definitely check out patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. I don't post a lot of content there now because I usually go through Cool Stuff Inc. Um, or YouTube, right? But... Um, if you guys want to support the channel for like $1 a month, $2 a month, a month, not a ton, it's a great way to do it and it, it definitely adds up and helps me out a lot. So I really appreciate that. Uh, 
Oh, that's just rude. Now you're just being rude. Okay, they haven't done anything yet. Are they going to Plague Crafter? Oh, Plague Crafter, keep on crafting me. Keep on crafting on me. I found you on Tinder and swiped right real fast. I appreciate that. Okay, all right. Nothing yet. Is there a cryptic command in our future? In their future? In someone's future? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Ugin, but we can't keep up Mana Leak. I guess we're just gonna hit this Jace. Thank you. Nope. Uh, hit the Jace. Guardian Links seven. It's a number between six and eight. Ah oh, oh, ha oh. ha. Seven months. Ah oh, oh, ha oh. ha. Jake, thank you so much, man. You are my favorite, buddy. I love you. Thank you for the support, my dude. And so we can easily get a Prismatic Vista is looking more and more like an island here. I'm just gonna thank pass. You. I feel like they have Cryptic Command. I'm just not gonna walk into that bad boy. Oh, they didn't do anything. That's great for us. Everything is terrible. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. You guys are all wonderful. You know what it's like? You know what it's like to be wonderful? Because your guys are doing it right now. I found you on YouTube looking for cube videos, and you and Mucho were just too hilarious. I was super happy when I heard you were a consistent Twitch. I am really glad to hear it. That is my favorite thing to hear that I've ever heard in life. Do you understand? Do you hear what I'm saying right now? <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, we can do that next turn after we bait this cryptic command out. Are you guys ready? It's gonna be exciting. I am excited. Hold on. Ah! Okay. Uh, so what do we got? One, two, this one. Use this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugin. Ujugin. The Inoofable. With 540 cards only covering three colors, I would assume eight mana Ugin is in the cube. I found you in one of my tournaments. I think it was FNM. Chris, how did we first meet? Was it just an F and M? Because that feels crazy. Now this is crazy. So play some. So sleeve some cards up. We're best friends, maybe. I don't know if I missed resubbing, and I needed some of these. <laughs> Give me some of these. Maybe I just killed a Jace. I like killing Jace when he's got no, no perms on the board. CPA, thanks so much for the resub. I've been vo vo voraciously consuming your content since your TCG player days, and nobody else even comes close to me. Thanks for doing Thank you so much, man. That's crazy. That is a crazy thing to hear. Also, if they don't have another counter spell, we get to go Eminent House Augury. I'm really excited to cast this card because I've never even I've never even read this card before this cube. This is basically see, this is what I love about cubes, because like this is a new card to me. I've never seen this card. I've never cast it before. I've never resolved it for sure so if like we just get a situation where like uh, oh, uh, oh no oh that's just that's real rude oh, that makes me sad but we got we got augury so I'm like hoping they don't have four spike and then we can augury up in here so we got one two three four five six oh that's exciting all right eight cards oh All right, so Mountain will be free. Oh, God. Oh, God. Liliana will be our Planeswalker. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this car 
card is fantastic. Let's go. Nicol Bolas is our creature. Is it basic land? Because I didn't even see Wandering Fumeral. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. We get Cruel Ultimatum, Prophetic Bolt, and Coalition Relic. This will be our artifact. This will be our spell. <laughs> Put a card into your hand. Oh, I forgot, like... Yeah, I forgot I wasn't Cruel Ultimatum. I was like, wait, don't we get all of them? And we'll Cruel Ultimatum. Wow! <laughs> Fucking... Oh my god. A mana Tau's augury into cruel ultimatum. Choose a creature in my graveyard. Okie dokie. Bokie dokie. Oh, uh, Jesus McNeesus. Uh, I guess we'll make some zombos. And because I have to discard, I'll just lightning bolt you and put you to two, I guess. Wow. I just threw up my mouth so hard. It's insane. Oh, I have even I don't even have any idea how much value that was. So we got this, right? So we played one land. I was looking at my chops for Exhum for Jace, make it a planes arc, rebuy the slaughter for the ultimate gatewatch triumph. Good games for sure. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna try to count how much removal this is, how much value this was, right? So okay, so let's get a notepad. Cause this is not gonna be easy, right? Okay, so uh, augury was what we spent, right? So minus one for augury, and then plus one for the land, plus uh, two for nickel bolus because they made them discard. Uh, cruel ultimatum, they, they discarded what like three cards, exhume sword, they, they discarded two cards, I guess. These two, so. Plus two cards for Cruel Ultimatum. Then we drew three and got back a creature. So plus six for Cruel Ultimatum. Not even including life gain. So this is like also minus nine life. Uh, cruel is plus six. So four for us, negative two for them. Uh, Prophetic Bolt was plus one. Chromatic Lantern was plus one. Did I miss anything? Um... Oh, Liliana. <laughs> uh, plus two from Liliana. Well, I guess plus one from Liliana, because she just basically did what she did. So what is this? This is uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cards, and nine life from from Amanatau's Augury. That's the most insane thing I've ever experienced. In Wow. That was beautiful. That was a gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. Whew, I'm like, I got the vapors now for that after that ridiculous nonsense. Wow, that was insane, guys. Absolutely bonkers. That was a real uh that was a real this moment. Stop! Stop! He's already dead. Jesus. Are you for real? So we, we, the only card we extended was the augury. We got a free land. We got a nickel bolus, which is two cards. Uh, Cruel ultimatum was six. It, we drew three. Got a creature back. That's four. They discarded two. They didn't lose any creatures. So that's only six. 
Uh, Prophetic Bolt netted us a card, which we didn't have to use any resources to get. We got a free Lantern, a free Liliana. Liliana was technically plus two because we got a creature out of it, I guess. So, I don't know. It's kind of like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, it's one, two, three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 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 Thirteen pieces of value and nine life. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep the sand. Sword is weird because we only have six creatures, but all of our creatures, like, not all of them, but a good amount of them make other creatures, like P and Karen Nalar, Seasoned Pyromancer. Even Nightfell Spectre has the potential to put more creatures into, into life. Spider View with the with the with the Patreon. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you. You are awesome, my man. Uh, I'm just gonna play Sunken Hollow here because I have no reason not to. I don't know. Even if we lose the rest of these matches, like I still think that game one went fantastically, and I really don't think our, our deck is that bad. And by that I mean I think it's good, but I don't. I just don't want to get ahead of myself because I really don't know what these these. You said it. I did it. Wow, that's fantastic. That's a man. What a what a way to. That's good marketing. That's totally, that's that's some solid advertising. I feel like if you guys are watching on YouTube and you just saw that Aminatau's augury that just happened, I think that's worth a, a dollar on Patreon, guys. Come on, don't be, don't be ridiculous. This guy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, we did gain five. That's true. So we dealt nine to them and then we gained five. So it was a 14 point life swing in total. I was just talking about the the negatives to them. So we can actually go plus five life. Yeah, that's insane. Mike with the bits. Here's a dollar. Thank you so much, buddy. It's a, really appreciated. Vampiric Tutor. Joke's on you. You took two damage. Way to lose two life, you're basically dead. Not coming back from that. We do need to hit a land, though, in order to play something like, I don't know, five drop or six drop. Okay. Oh, it's a little basalty. Four life? Unbelievable. I don't even know how they're going to survive this. Come on, Landy. Come on, Landy. Oh, we're good at this game, boys. All right, we're just going to pass here. We're going to play Prophetic Bolt on something, presumably. Unless it's like a Frost Titan, and then we're going to be like, well, this is incredibly awkward. And uh, then we're going to feel bad about our life choices. I just tutored for to for for to losing life. Yeah, I knew it. That's so like you. Typical. I didn't even I failed to find. I was like, I don't even want a card. I don't even care. Karn, huh? That's okay. Um, finale of Revelation. You can, uh, shot Rashad and Port's awkward, right? One Judd Apatow augury book. Wait, I don't get it. A man at Apatow. Oh, Apatow. That's actually pretty hilarious. Now I get it. Now I get it. Am I reading any good comics? I actually haven't... I haven't read anything new in a while. And the reason is just because I'm catching up on old stuff. My plan is to get to all the new stuff. Um... One, two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can. I'm just gonna give you port. Port actually seems less oppressive to me right now. I'm actually. We really want to hit a land here so we can Ugin the ineffable. 
I guess I'm gonna add a red. Red's adding a red seems. Oh no, it's it was already in there. I just had to click on these two guys. All right, that seems fine. Hey, this is crazy. Oh, we just can get a mountain here. Oh, cruel ultimatum? No, we can't even get cruel ultimatum. That's sad. Dang, I really wanted cruel ultimatum there. P and Karen Alar is not bad. Ugin makes a guy though, right? So like, that's just too good to. Yep, make a dude. Like, even if it dies, we get it. Oh, Season Pyromancer. So we can play Season Pyromancer and Sword. Sword kills this. All right. What's up, Mike? Um, actually, you can't fail to find... That's that's true, actually. I realized that when I said it, and I was like, I hope no I hope no pedantic nerd catches this. And then there Nifty Chris was, waiting in the wings. Crucible of Worlds, and you have nothing in the graveyard, and you played a Badlands this turn? I'll give you Crucible. Hey, this is crazy. Not great, Bob. <sighs> that was disgusting. Make me wanna vomit. Makes me wanna vomit. Walking on the razor's edge, putting those cards in the trash can. I wanna vomit. Hold on one second. Um, I'm going to give you Chromatic Lantern because I don't want you to have Liliana. Alright, Rashad and Port is now in play. Do you have a pop filter on your mic? Uh, I don't have a pop filter per se, but I have this big fat windshield. So, is that... Is it... Can you not... Is it because I need a pop filter or because it sounds like I have one? Pop, 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 pop. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's so good. I wish I had. Oh, man. Wow, that's really good. The ASMR is pretty potent. Is that good? Is that is it good? That is potent ASMR. Potent, pop, 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 pop. Potent, pop, pop, beep, pop, 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 pop. Oh wow, that's really good. Oh man, and I get to draw a card. Oh. Karn and your face. One and one. And let's just play this bad boy. All right, so we know they have Lantern and Crucible in hand, which is not that impressed. Oh, that no, they, Lantern's gone. So we know they have Crucible in hand, I guess. Do 
Josh, is the ASMR for you meaning that you're falling asleep while watching the stream? Or does it mean that uh, you're, you're cringing? I can't tell. I also don't, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm being overly ASMR-y. You know, I'm not like, hey guys, we're just, uh, we're just talking about some pop, pop, pops. We're just watching the, the, I just got attacked by a reality smasher and, uh, like, I feel like I'm not going overboard on the ASMR. Uh, be something good here. Are you going to tap something down? Yeah, that's fine. Who even has the time? <laughs> All very good. All very good. Oh, man. I'm tempted to just... I'm tempted to just sack the team, dude. We get to draw season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do people fall asleep today, Samar? For sure. For sure. There was a time where I thought I was losing. When they when they busted our whole hand with Rakdos' return, I was like, oh no, we're for sure dead. But now, feeling a little bit different. So we're going to play this, and this, and then we're going to go black. I mean, technically we could play this if we draw a land, right? So maybe I just keep the red up. Oh, they tapped one of the reds, so we'd have to draw a red land. But I guess we can just leave Is it Signet up, right? So we can go one, two, three. Play Liliana. I really just want to get rid of Reality Smasher. I'll sacrifice these two. We draw three cards. Yeah, because we're drawing... We're drawing the card from this and from the Ugin, so that seems fantastic. Island, Night Veil. Vale. Can't play that. Oh, oh dear. Oh, bleh. Can't play either of these because of mana. That's sad. We can untap this, though, which is actually pretty great, too, so that's fine. What's smarter than a talking parrot? A spelling bee. That's fair. That is smart. I fell asleep to Ollie's stream last night and woke up to his breaking news segment. And man, I've never come so close to winning. The what does that mean? Because it was scary? I don't know what breaking news. I don't have no idea what that is. What is this? What's happening right now? One, two. Th what is this? What's going on? Oh. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I guess. I guess that's a thing. No, that's... I mean, I'm not going to watch it. I'll be honest with you. I don't have time to watch it. I'm just curious. If you can give me a synopsis, that'd be great. Uh, I guess we're just bolting face here. Ten cards, huh? Pyromancer can go. Island can go. Swamp can go, I guess. I don't know. That's rough. Yep. That's sad. It's all very sad. Had a sad day again. My son's math teacher called him average. I just think he's mean. Wow. That. A little math humor, ladies and gentlemen. Is this another Jace the Mind Sculptor? Good lord. Yep. Well, we got a freebie here. A free turn to do whatever we like. I think it's Coalition Relic. And just put a charge counter on that guy. Man, this game got rough. Walking on the razor's edge.
metal worker, huh? Falcon or Aristocrat. Ready? Mountain. Not the same. Not quite the same. Let's get a blue. One, two, three, four, five. Well, five mana. One, two, three. Could just play Night Vale Spectre here. Sputnik, by mean, he means like instead of average, the mean of something. There's a, a math a math joke. It's good times. Um, wow, that upheaval was bonkers. I feel like there were two there were two pivotal moments in this game. Well, three maybe. I mean, I could see the Liliana being a pivotal moment, but then they just actually just managed to to ruin that for us. Uh, you can't play Signet and Spectre because. Right? Because this is one, two, three. Do we play a land this turn? Yeah, we played Underground River. Because of the red mana. Like, this is going to make a red, which we can't use for the Spectre. So, like, we just have an extra red mana that's not going to do anything. We would use this and this to, to play Signet. Pump a mana into the signet, which makes two and then three, but one of them is red, so. Yeah, we have five mana, one of which is red, and Nightfell Spectre cannot be used with the red mana, so. Okay, I mean it's not gonna it's not gonna work like you guys think it works. If we tap the mountain, we have two mana. We play the signet. We have to add a mana into the signet, which makes a red mana, which we cannot use for the Nightfell Spectre. So we would only have two mana. Or we pump one of these into the... We don't need to tap... Right, but we can't... I'm, I'm saying we can't charge the Coalition Relic as well. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not saying we can't... I'm not saying we can't do both. I'm saying we can't do both and charge the Relic. I mean, I still think it's the correct play. But someone said you can charge Amulet too. And I'm like, no, you can't do that. Uh, I don't think it's better to leave Confluence up because we have to actually start putting things on the board here. And I want to, like, start... Because like, if they ever shot in port like, and, and they have Jace, like, we're going to have to start doing things. This is also pretty scary. I think... That's cool. That's real cool. I guess I'll sacrifice this guy. That's pretty brutal because we can get Reality Smasher, Karn, Thought Knots here. Miss my top notch pun. Metal Worker terrifies me though. It's just better to leave the confluence up. I don't even see it. Is it the eye matey? I actually don't think I get it. I've got to tap out one of your bandas. Sure. You got it. You monster. That's good. Hey, that's pretty good. All right. Well. So Prismatic Lens, is that in their hand? They revealed that. Sky Diamond's gone. Darksteel Citadel is still in their hand. Crucible is gone. So we have 
these are your, those are two of your three cards. That's pretty interesting. I think we're just getting rid of the mountain. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we can get rid of undermine. I really rather have the mana here. Yeah, that seems fine. I'm 80. Okay, see, okay, that's that's a lot. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of. A, I'm not gonna watch the video in the middle of a match and then hope it's not like. Hope there's not music in the video that gets me demonetized. Hope it's not super loud and disruptive for my. Like that's. I'm not gonna just watch it right now. I also told you I wasn't gonna watch it. I just asked what it was. You didn't have to like link it and show me. You could just been like he screamed in the video or something. I would have been like, all right, that makes sense. Push it to the limit. Yeah, we're just going to put a charge counter on this. So you, did you play Dark Steel Citadel? No, you played Tectonic. McMonic. Did you though? Did you? Did I what? What's even happening right now? I forgot what the last thing I said was. So I don't know what you're responding to. I don't know what he did. I didn't watch the video because I'm streaming. Um, yeah, sure. You got it. I'm trying to play a match of Magic the Gathering that has been surprisingly close throughout this entire... Alright, let's hope we don't have a counterspell, I guess. There's no counterspell. I don't care about this guy anymore. I'll just make a Zombo. What do they get? What do they get with Elder Eldest Reborn that we're worried about? Reality Smasher, I guess. It's pretty good. Oh, Hostage Taker? Oh, God. If they get Hostage Taker back, we're just done. <laughs> get it together. Oh, wow, this instead, huh? I guess that's good, too, right? I would have went Hostage Taker, stolen Liliana, and then played Liliana. That would have been my, that would have been my personal choice. <sighs> like we're not the thing is we're not dead yet like like we're behind but we're not dead they have fewer cards than us but they don't actually have a lot going on and our stream looks like it completely just died which is fantastic I have the best internet yep disconnect reconnecting fantastic Spectrum Internet, ladies and gentlemen. Spectrum Internet. Looks like everything is down, so that's unfortunate. Wish OBS had a pause button that I could use. Just pause a recording. Yep. All right, well, I'll stop this here, and then we'll just reconnect it when we get back. All right, welcome back. This is good times. Let's draw our card. Why am I typing this? The entire internet crashed because Spectrum is hot shit. That's why. Spectrum is the worst internet company I've ever experienced in my life. They're trash. And, uh... Let's attack Ugin. I bet you'll trade this guy. I wonder if you activate Mutavolt. That seems good. Then we can just bounce both of them. Uh, two of these. So we're going to go like this. One, two, three, four, Shut up and take my five. Money. One crash buck. <laughs> Spider View, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, this guy's at 11? Yeah, that's pretty good. Jesus. Alright. Well, I feel like now we're pretty far behind because of this Jason the Mind Sculptor, but. Well, 
At least we're here, so. Nine minutes on the clock, and this is game one. This format does seem to be a little grindy, which is a concern. Yep, that's not going to do it. We're going to go to the next game to save some time. Okay. Uh, release the Gremlins can come in here. We'll see if... Uh, yeah, also, Pillage seems great as well. I don't think we really want Fatal Push. Hunter, stop. Um, I don't know if we want both of these, to be honest. Pillage is great because it also kills a land, so we can kill one of their, their useful lands. Let's take Chromatic Lantern out. I don't think colors have been an issue for us. I almost, I almost don't mind Avalanche Riders either. Just kind of keep them off their lands. It's probably better than Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, actually. Maybe. Actually, it's probably better than Ultimate Price. Yeah, let's do that. We're on the land denial plan. I'll keep this hand. And we have Tap of Permanent Down. We have Mana Leak. We have a lot of things that are good. Hmm. Well, that just helps our plan because... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I bet you can make a sick mono red deck for sure. Especially when a third of the cube is red. Do I just want to pillage that? No, we just want to get rid of it right now. Because we can just pillage a land, right? So, like... Land. Oh, that's so good. I mean, double red, double red, which is rough. We still have fire ice, and as long as we're hitting land drops, I'm okay with it. Cast ice. Uh, we're gonna ice down the blue. Cause if they wanna if they wanna activate this again, that's fine. Yeah, I have the eight mana spell. That's basically a keep. How can you not keep that? Oh, that's very good. One, two, three. This guy. Sure. Welcome back post crash. Yikes! I ki ki si What is what is that? Yeah, hold on. Yikes! Yikes! Yikesy! Yikesy! Ki 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 I don't. I have no. I under. I have no idea what you said there. It's like yikesy k and then yikesy k backwards. It's just a lot of yikeses. That's all. That's all I'm saying here. Uh, what do you got here? Let's give you Fire Diamond. Let's add a red. So we're going to have five total mana. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're actually just playing Falcon Wrath Aristocrat attacking Karn. Oh, I need a black. Uh, so black... Aristocrat. It feels so nice. Okay, guys, I'm off to the sandwich mines. Sandwich mines. <laughs> Super Fritz, have a good afternoon, buddy. Team J, bro, with the raid. Thank you so much, buddy. You are my favorite, dude. I love you to death. Agent of Treachery, you can have that for seven. That's totally fine. So now we have, we know you gave me Diamond and Agent of Treachery. A Janto of Treacherario.
Uh, I've never... Wow, there's a lot of... Can I draw release the gremlins off the top? That would be guess. I totally forgot to charge this because I was so distracted by everything that happened in my life. One, two, three, four, five, six. We gotta. We actually have to pillage here to keep you off of agent. One, two, three, four, five. We could have actually done two things, but I, I think it's still fine because we would. We can just charge the relic anyway. So kill this guy. Fire diamonds gone. Team J, bro. What's up, my dude? What do you think of this cube? I'm, I think I'm enjoying it a lot. Um. I'm probably going to kill just a land here. Let's get rid of the underground sea. Right? No, because you can keep you off of red if we get rid of the black cliff cliffs. This is a dual land, which is why I'm leaning towards it, but that doesn't really... That's not a good enough reason. I don't have a shout-out command because I don't even know what to use that for. Like, I don't have things to shout out frequently enough, I guess. Maybe that's sad. I don't know. I've been fine with it, though. He drawn Archive God. Can you imagine release the gremlins here? God, can you imagine release the gremlins here? Dear God. Come on, one time, dude. Just let... Let me release them. Let them be free. Oh, that's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got to be Coalition Relic, right? I don't have a Planeswalker, but... I mean, I'm, I'm worried about them stealing this and then, like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's still rough, but... Thank you. Uh, let's click OK to preserve zero targets. Okay. It's This is two mana, but this is two colored mana. I think this is just better. One, two, th yeah, they're both going to give them two mana next turn, so we're just going to get rid of this. Running Chicken, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Really appreciate the resub. I mean, I think they just go agent and steal the sword, right? But they can't also equip it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I gave them this because I was afraid of reality smasher but now i'm just now i think agent is just i didn't expect them to go signet signet archive relic but you know here we are so oh they're just gonna steal sure huh that was not what i expected them to do because now we just get to keep sword and like we have a bunch of threats so one two three four five six seven we're so close oh uh, let's just say blue for now one two three four five six let's go kia and piran kia and piran nalar <laughs> that's not what they're called at all and we'll put a sword on one of the birds And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we hit a land, we can Aminato's Augury. We have five minutes, though. They have a lot more minutes than we do. Which is rough because we disconnected for like three minutes, four minutes almost. But. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Rakdos to return. They don't. I mean, they got a black, but they. It's got to be Rakdos to return, right? It's so obnoxious, dude. Yep, seems good. That is what's known as unfortunate. Should have actually played Fumeral first. Eleven cards. We'll get rid of you. Uh, probably not a land. Sword seems great. You seem great. Get rid of P and Karen Alar. Uh, get rid of Mountain and one more card. It's probably sword, to be honest with you. 
And we just have plans for everything else. Like we can go Signet into Relic and Wandering Fumeral. Actually, that's not the worst. The problem is winning another game after this. Okay, well, that's not bad. That's pretty strong, actually. I mean, ideally we can cast that next turn and then play Coalition Relic. I mean, we've got games. They have six mana, not seven, so Agent's not an option. Liliana is, though. Fantastic. <sighs> yep, the dream is dying. Yeah, that's not great. Like, they just go agent steal our thing next turn, and they have a little on board. We're just going to go to the next round. I don't feel like we're winning this, especially with four minutes on the clock. Yep, that was pretty brutal. I feel like every game there was really close, but not close enough, I guess. I also feel like our deck is fantastic, but... Um, I mean, I think it's going to... I mean, there's still one upheaval in every 540 cards. Like, I don't think it's going to be upheaval fest. Rocking out to midnight. I mean, it's just as likely that you're going to upheaval in this cube as you are in any other cube that has upheaval in it, right? It's one in... One in five forty. There's no. There's. It's not like there's a higher instance of upheavals, is what I'm saying. I guess this hand seems great. Any one land, we get to nickel bolus on turn three. Unfortunately, we're on the draw though. I have faith. Once you gotta have faith, faith, faith. I gotta have faith. Brian, you know. I we can do this. We can 2-1. Our deck is good. Our deck is good. I mean, worst case scenario, play that guy next turn, which is nice. Yeah, I guess I... I was going to type more, but I hit enter, and now I give up. All right, well, that's fair, I guess. Well, dang it. I think it's actually just Season Pyromancer, because you really want to hit lands here. How's that sound? Uh, We can't even keep... We can keep this up, I guess, but that doesn't seem as good as Pyromancario. I also don't know what this is, guys, so... I'm in bad shape there. Let's get rid of sword. I'm not. I just don't want to get rid of this. It's probably true. It's probably correct to get rid of this, though, right? It's eight mana. We did not hit any lands. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for some lands, but here we are. God Eternal Kefnet. Yep, that's a card, all right. That is what's known as a Magic the Gathering card. And then in hindsight, you wish you kept up Undermine. Oh, and I didn't even see this guy. Wow. It's all happening, apparently. <laughs> I 
Hey, you're stuck on lands? Let me bounce your chromatic lantern. Okay, you got it. You got it. And it's a 4-5, so it competes uh, favorably with the Nickel Bulls. Sounds good. This game's already over because we missed land drops. Fantastic. How many land drops is that? Two, I think? Yeah, we're going to turn six. Turn five. So, yeah, we've missed three land drops. Well, two land drops, I guess. And now they're going to play, like, Vendillion Click. Sure. You know what? Knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> it's science. Yeah, our first match was unbeatable. And then it's like, well... What did they take? Falconrath Aristocrat, huh? Well, that seems fine. Well, that's just fine. Nicholas B... What a Brian Ecologist. Can't I get my hand? Just watched the trailer for Joker. It looks a lot more interesting. Than yeah, the Joker is fantastic. You know, I mean, at least the trailer is anyway. The trailer looks fantastic. I'm excited for it. I mean, we have much more, much more cards. Much more cards? Is that correct? Is that the way to say it? Much more cards? Many more cards than they do? We have six cards. They're one card? That feels good. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the morphs are in this format. Oh, peat bug. One, two, three, four, five. Use three of it. We get three back. Let's go lantern. We'll keep undermine up. For this river becomes an ocean. Got to get your Kefnet on the floor. Oh, now Kefnet. What does this guy do when he flips? 10 damage to a creature. Put a creature from your graveyard on the battlefield under control. I'm tempted to just go to 6 here because they're just blue black. Oh, singing Limp Biscuit. Hey, I love Limp Biscuit. Uh, we're just going to take 4 here again. I don't think trading Nicol Bolison is really where I want to be. Plus, P and Kieran L R make a lot of good blockers. So, I also don't have to sack Prismatic Vista anymore because of. Uh... All right, let's fire this guy. I mean, they could just flip it, right? So we'll see what it is. Stratus answer, sure. Works for me. I mean, that's much better than Mystic Confluence getting countered, you know? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can just play P and Karen Lar and then not keep Undermine up, because both of these come into play tapped, unfortunately. They also have one card in hand, though. And I'd rather have some blockers, so I think we're just going to run that out there. Man. Any untapped land would have been great here, because then we can undermine. Is this cube? Yes, this is cube. They have four flying creatures. We have three flying creatures, though, so... I don't feel terrible about it. This seasoned Pyromancer is doing some work. Yeah, I think for Hodge Galashi's preferences, it goes, uh, it goes Ween and then Limp Biscuit right underneath that. 
It's real close. This is where they go. Uh, cryptic command, tap your team. Kill you. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Every turn I want, every turn I want to counterspell, whether it's Kefnet or Karn, is the one turn I'm not having it. So I guess that's... I guess that's life. Yep. We have to block these two. We go to one. And we're so close to just killing them, which is unfortunate. Can we just bounce these three? We can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 damage here. That's so funny. Um, we can go bounce, bounce, bounce here. And still keep up Undermine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's an option. Yeah, we still have Undermine mana. Um, so we can go... Karn, Karn, face, face. Uh, return three. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Uh, uh. Oh, we can actually use this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can actually use this for... Oh, this is great with, with Chromatic Lantern. That's fantastic. Uh, we're going to go blue. Add this. How much do we have left? Two. And we get to keep up Undermine. Oh, wow. This is broken. I feel like that just won us the game. This, this cube is great. There's a lot of play in this cube. Got to pick my cube up off the floor. How deep is your love? How deep is your love? How do you need to know? Um, so... We know three of the cards in their five card hand, right? We know Riftwing Cloudskate, we know Stratus Dancer, and we know uh, Kefnet. Yeah, Kefnet's fine. Kefnet is not a concern. Let's go blue, blue, black, and that should kill you. Cause we're living in a way living. Making a living. It's a good song. I'm gonna put the magma jet in here because they got a bunch of dirtly little dirtles. Um Sword of Steel and Cindy actually seems not great. They didn't have a ton of artifacts, so I'm okay with that. <sighs> I would do can you imagine if I do if I do all that work and then I just click the un, the wrong underground river? Uh, the wrong underground river choice. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take one damage. Oh no, I killed myself. What a dummy. <whistles> this hand is great. Guys, we got a cruel ultimatum. I want to say good game, because that was actually a good game. That was a close, that, was a, that game was great. It was close. I didn't feel like we were blown out at any point. We got stuck on lands for like 10 turns, but we came back. I, I don't know, man. Magic's something else, dude. Oh, is it? Is it? It's got to be Blood Crypt because it lets us play Drowned Catacomb into Signet.
What do you think about bans and unbans in Modern? Well, you can check out my most recent Cool Stuff article that just went up today for my thoughts on the bans and restrictions. And also, guys, definitely check out CoolStuffInc.com. I have new articles go up every Wednesday, and today my article on the banned and restricted changes went up, and if you guys are interested, definitely leave a comment in the article because it helps me out, it looks good, it's it, it's uh, it, it shows engagement, and uh, I like talking to you guys. I like having your thoughts as well, so definitely check out CoolStuffInc.com. The link, if you want to just use the link, it's in the comments, right? It's in the chat right there, but it should also be on the front page. So, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Are you serious? Right? Are you serious right now? Oh, we're doing well. Unless this guy gets countered, and then we're doing less well, but I think we're doing well well, so that's good. Nothing about the vintage restrictions? I think the vintage restrictions are great. Um, but I'm not a vintage player, so I really didn't feel like I had the authority to comment on them. But Toxic Deluge? That, that tells me you have another way to deal with Nicol Bolas, which still makes it a two-for-one. Unless you're control magicking it. Talarand. See, this is a situation where I'd like to fire this and then keep up Undermine, even though Pete Bog does let us play one, two, three, four, five, six. He lets us play Cruel Ultimatum next turn. John, the thing about the thing about the, the the faithless looting ban is that you make enough money that you can afford to just buy a new modern deck if you need to. So I don't even feel bad for you, buddy. <laughs> no, I do. It sucks. It sucks that you have to find a new deck, but hopefully you'll hopefully you'll be all right. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna not be greedy here. Oh wait, we have to do double blue, right? Double blue, so we need blue, blue, black. So we actually have to do this. So we can go black here. Nope, that doesn't work. I messed up. Blue, blue. Yeah, I messed up. Right? Yeah, because like the the red is connected here, but so is the blue that we need. Oh, that's so sad. Yep, that was a misplay. And we're still going to kill this guy. But it's going to feel worse. So, whatever. They got... I got two cards. What's what are they? What are the odds they got? I got a good count. Uh, what do you think of drafting Selesny in this format? It seems understa understaffed. I I haven't seen anyone draft Selesny. I'm not sure if the Selesny cards are good enough in this cube. I don't know. They, I think Ryan could probably tweak it a little bit, but I think Tron just took position as top dog as far as modern in general or as far as your your deck. Sahili. Alright, that's fine. They have one card. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm literally golden. Literally go that, yep, that this game's over. So I have Nicol Bolas with two counterspell backups. I don't actually care about your Sahili. Mission briefing? What do you even target? Toxic Deluge. Sure, I'll let you pay the life and then I'll... So we're going to pay four and then we're going to attack for four. And then we're going to flip this and then we're just going to kill them, right? Target creature Planeswalker. Put target creature Planeswalker from graveyard on the battle. Yikes. Oh, we can just Cruel Ultimatum after that? So this is what? Four? Yeah, this is, they're, just, this, they're just dead. Oh, and I also forgot about Undermine, so I don't think we actually need... Oh god. So this is actually just straight up kills them because it's undermine. It's they pay four for the deluge, four from this, and then undermine. Yeah, the undermine is the worst possible card <laughs> for them right here. Oh Jesus. Oh god, I'm sorry. They had a family. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh good games, I'm sorry. Oh god. It's just... Oh god, they just took seven off their toxic deluge. Ooh. 
This queue has led to some brutal plays, man. Brutal plays. Good games. That was a rough one. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez, this this is a great this is a great foray into the first cube. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget patreon.com slash franklapore, twitch tv dot franklapore. Nope, that's not it. You guys know the Twitch link. It's all all of those links are in the description below. Definitely check out coolstuffinc.com and manatraders.com for great uh great subscription service for Magic Online. And you get 20% off the first three months with the link and promo code below, so check those out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.